On the top left, we have our yellow Protoss player. He's playing for Alien Invasion. It is CPU. And to the two o'clock position, we have in red the Protoss player from the same team, Prime Lord. All right, so how do I get the production interface working? That's a good idea. Uh, that's just a good Oh, wait! Question. If you press F11, you get, like, all the hotkeys. So let's oh, do it. Oh, that's nice. Um, team logo, shift T, 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 T. Cover resources, supply breakdown, R, B, Q. Uh, shift C, shift N. Man. Okay. Okay, so where did I show? Okay, that's something. Not what I want to know. Okay, battle panel. Okay, what's that? Oh, battle panel. That works. That's something. And like I said, I think it's it's designed to use the add-on as well. Okay. Because it has resources on off. But I can press R like I want. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I got a few things worked out, but not all of it. Um, okay. We just have to go with that for that game. Shift M, shift M. Okay, got those working. Quick upgrade Q and C. Okay, I'm still missing production. That's that's about it. I think I got all of the others figured out. But production is pretty vital. So I need to see production. Oh, I got it. Okay, nice. For some reason it's working now. I don't know why. Okay. Awesome. How, how did, what did you do? <laughs> um not too sure. Um I think I pressed and what was the final button combination you pressed? Well, for, for production, I just had... I think I pressed C. No, wait, that's for the GameHard extension mod. Um, look, to be honest, I have no idea what I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the, the important thing is that you've got it. Okay, we have a probe hiding right uh, up here um, from CPU. He knows where his opponent is. He's already scouted him. So he just hit a probe up here. So he has the possibility to maybe throw down a proxy Stargate, which he's probably going to do to harass his opponent using oracles. And, and I also like that position because if Primal... In the meantime, I think Primal is trying to do the same. Because yep, he's he, yes, he is. Uh, he's creating uh, a Stargate as well. And we have the Twilight Council incoming for CPU, so he might not be going for that Stargate. It would be kind of weird uh, if he wastes his resources on that. Um, and he is going for a uh, for a Stalker and more gateways. So I think we're going to see um, Blink Stalkers out of him, which would be a good answer to the first Oracle that's incoming by Prime Lot. And I do like the positioning of the probe here, because usually if, if we would have a um, Stargate and up in the top of Prime Lord's base, it would just intercept that, um, yeah, the regular movement path. And he would spot it early on, but I think, nope, not going to be scouted out. Okay, so he's only using this probe not for a proxy, but only for scouting, uh, if an oracle comes this way. And... An oracle this way comes, but not uh, not quite no, intercepting by the um, by the probe. He's just going to be missing by a little bit there. Yeah, so he's not really on alert here, but of course he has a lot of units already moving around, and he already gathers his stalkers around here. There's the oracle flying in, killing one probe, and that's it. Just yeah. driven off using the photon overcharge on the Lexus. Okay, you know what actually sucks? I can't even see what buildings are morphing in here. <laughs> um, press space. Okay. Oh, then... there's, there's production now. Yep. Now I've got production. I don't know how, but that's it. Okay, and now I still can't see the buildings morphing in, but doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can press... Uh, wait, you can press C. No, that, that gives you the minerals. Um, oh, yeah, there it is. Now you I'm can press good. tab to see what buildings are morphing. Yes, in. there it is. Oh my god. It's now not everything is working. <laughs> what is this? 
<laughs> it's, just, it's just a little bit weird. And we have another Oracle moving in, by the way. And it's gonna get one kill, two kills, three kills. Oh jeez, five kills, six, seven. Ooh, just one stock in position. It's gonna grab a couple more kills here. And he was on cooldown. Yeah, at the same at the same time, CPU realizes that he has to do something now, so he marches in with all his stalkers into the uh, into his opponent's base. But there is a photon overcharge just being um, just being used. Okay, oh, nice, we have nice blink up here. Can he get Can he get the immortal? I oh, think he can, yeah, he's but he's losing, losing a lot of so much. In the process there. And he might be able to save a couple. And, and that, nice blink micro, saving all three stalkers. Yeah, not at all, but he wanted to do something here. I mean, he was yeah, late on his Nexus, so um, he needed to make something happen. Yeah, and he already lost a lot of probes at home. Um, it is a 4-gate after all, so yeah. he needed to make something happen. I don't think it quite worked out. And now with the Immortal production just going on, uh, I think Primal is going to be in a good spot to um, yeah, put some pressure on. Yeah, the Oracle was just flying in again, and now it's 14 probes for CTU to 27, 28 probes now for a Prime Lord. He has a second base up, he has everything he needs to just counter this push. I mean, there's a lot of Stalkers inside, but he has an Immortal, he has some Force Fields, and a Stor and, a, and a Zealot here, and uh, does the... does the... Um Ah, damn it. Does the Mothership Core have enough energy for a Final Overtures? Yes, it does. So, actually, there's not really a lot CPU can do here. And he lacks the economy to build more Stalkers or build more aggression up behind that. So, yeah. it's, it's looking pretty grim for him. Yeah, now he yeah, pulls he's, everything he's on, he has. He's on 11 probes. Uh, he's going to try it one last time. He has enough energy for a uh, for a one time warp, at least. Um, oh. And he's just going to blink up on top. Yeah, but there's, there's two, two models there. there. There comes the time warp. I don't know what he's waiting for. He waits for the cooldown. He's waiting for the cooldown. Ten seconds. Well, but the more time he waits, <laughs> well, it doesn't really help at all. Because uh, Prime is just going to increase the strength of his army while he can't do jack shit. Yeah, he, he just tries to get a good engagement, but he really can't. Since so now there's three more that stalker. Out. He's going to blink on top of the second stalker as well, but no, that's never going to be enough here. And, and Prime Lord just clears here. it up. GG! Yes, GG! And now Prime Lord has to win the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, that was their... That's, that was their agreement beforehand, so I think he has to win it now. Okay, let's have a look at the bracket. Yeah, that's PvP for you people. Sometimes it can finish pretty quickly. Yeah, the deciding point in that map was for sure when uh, the Oracle came in and started to kill off that many probes. And then he was able to fend off the first Blink Stalker push so easily with the first Immortal, already having his second base up. And at that point he was so far ahead that CPU didn't even have uh, the possibility to put on more pressure. Of course he had to do something but he didn't have enough economy behind it, so he could just pressure once. Uh, can you join after me? Yes, of course. And normally what, you want to do is, normally what you want to do is uh, pressure more and more, warping in units uh, every single warp in round you have available, but if you don't have the economy behind it, you just can't do it. So, uh, By the way, this is already best of threes. Okay, so... It starts at the quarterfinals. So Prime Lord is just... Uh, Leading now, it's only leading now, 1-0. Yeah, 1-0. Needing another one to close it out. So we have to figure out how to work the overlay and get those ready. Right. Yeah, but it's, it, the first thing you do is uh, press the, um, press the um, space key. Yeah, I think that's, that's how you always start. And then everything works, quite, uh, works out quite well. But yeah, there are some things you can only manage to do while you haven't pressed the, the space key. Wait, are you kidding me? I think so. But, but it, it, okay, I'm just putting the one O. Like, like the map name, you can normally show the map name by pressing M. But if you do it now, after pressing the space key, you get the APM. Shift M gives you the map name. Shift M then. Okay. Okay, there it is. Uh. Okay. Figuring out stuff while we're live, people. That is live program. You get to see this nowhere else. <laughs> so, but maybe we should introduce our players here. Uh, give me a sec. Uh, okay, I 
For some reason I can't set their... I can't set the best off thing, but that's... that uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's get it started here. We are on King Seon Station, and in the bottom right, as the yellow Protoss playing for an invasion, we have CPU. And to the top left in red, leading 1-0, it's Prime Lot. <laughs> Alright, you defend CC. I think these guys actually play a lot of 2v2s. <laughs> Well, there's no one to defend his CC. Um, and they're just fooling around now. Okay, okay since King, since they're playing uh, King Say on station now, I think they're probably using uh, the old map pool. Yeah, nice little scout there by CPU, using one of his probes to check for proxy gates, that is natural. And he just didn't find any, so he returns right into the guy there. By the way, uh, three workers in gas yeah. for CPU, so he's gonna go for something cheesy again. Yeah, probably DTs, I think. Yeah, it was pretty early on for three workers in gas, so um, you're right, either DTs or just the Stargate build again. Yeah, maybe. But I think DTs might be a wiser choice, because Stargate is it's just so regular now, now these days, so I think DTs would be more of a surprise. So, Pranod now checking with his uh, 13th probe to get an idea of what his opponent is up to. Of course, right now he's not going to... Uh, find that many information since uh, there's only the usual buildings and the usual suspects. He might click on one of these geysers to check how much gas has been taken out of them, but I think he didn't. So he just gets a sort of idea what his opponent is up to. Well, I think these guys usually check the gas. Um. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't see him click on it, so maybe... Maybe I just um, couldn't see that. Or maybe the WCS20 and show it. both of them are going for the um, uh, Templar Archives here. Yeah. It's just going to be a little bit faster for CPU, just by a couple of seconds. Um, which which is of course because he got his second gas, or actually uh, saturated both of these gases a little bit early on. So that's a little bit of an advantage there. Well, the interesting and thing is that the Mothership Corps is already moving across the map, and there's not really much to defend against air right now. So maybe he, maybe he uh, already guesses that his opponent is going for DTs and tries to get it... Um, oh, there's a stalker there, so not really a big problem here. So the uh, Mothership core is more for the scouting information and maybe to distract his opponent a little bit back into his base while the units that are standing in front may be able to move up the ramp. So Mothership Core moving in, he's now going to see everything. Oh, there comes, <laughs> there comes a single... Um Ow. Single force field. Yeah, and, and, and the Mothership Corps might get a kill here. It's also taking a, a little bit of damage. Yeah, no, it's oh, going halfway gone. Ooh, he tried oh! to swap out. Did he, did did he, he lose out? it? No, yes, he did. Whoa, no, geez. no, there it is. One HP. Oh my god. That's How nuts. That? One kill, one HP. So we were both working on ah. the so it's just the same build again. So CPU is trying to do his four gate blink build again, hoping that it's going to work better this time. That was incredibly close. Just the perfect timing on that recall. Yeah, and it was such. A, it was actually such a waste of Primelet to uh, just send in that stalker, which got killed without doing anything. Well, the biggest problem I see here for CPU is uh, that he doesn't have um, a probe out right now. He's sending it away now. But the problem is that Blink is almost through, and his gates are almost through as well, so I think he will delay his own push by a little, but it might save his life, since his opponent is going to um, warp in at uh, a f just a few seconds right now, I think. Because yeah, he already has the pile in position. A uh, uh, probe for CPU is making its way across the map, so but it's going to be met by a couple of stalkers. Yeah, sees is. those incoming, so he knows what's up. I don't know, maybe he might actually cancel his Nexus. I'm not too sure though, since he already has it up almost halfway, and he well, has the follow-up ready. I mean, he has the robotics ready, it's uh, producing the first immortal as we speak. So I think he, he's just gonna stall and keep these stalkers out for as long as he can until he has the first immortal up. Yeah, I mean, may maybe he has to cancel, but he will wait until the last second. I mean, he doesn't have enough energy on his mothership core right now for an Nexus Cannon. That's probably what he wanted to do beforehand. That was actually a pretty clever move in hindsight, what Prime Lord did there. Uh, 
getting to getting CPU to use his photon overcharge on his own Nexus to get out the rest of the units. Is he letting it finish? He yep. is. So he, is. He, he has the first think? model ready, but okay. it's still four stalkers versus two stalkers and then the model. Yeah, but no um, more no, no no more stalkers being uh, warped in, which is. Oh, he almost almost got the sentry there. But of course it gets away, and I think uh, CPU is in a good position now. I mean, um, he right. defended this, he got this Nexus up a little bit early, didn't lose any probes, and he has the follow-up ready. Um, the Stargate is incoming, and he actually produces the first Oracle already. So let's see how much damage that does. Because, I don't know, I like the transition that Prime Lot is doing a little bit better. He went for a Forge after his uh, robotics, and is going for the plus one. And Ooh, I, I there he catches the Oracle. Oh, oh, does he? Link? That's yeah, the on. worst possible thing that could happen for CPU here. <laughs> hacks and <laughs> calling the hacks. <laughs> yeah, it's now true. he's going to now he's going to jump in. I mean, CPU has to know that. I mean, he's seen his stalkers moving over to that side, so yeah, he has I don't a know. position, but, but yeah. not yet. Now nah, he sees it. He sees it. Yeah, he doesn't want to get hit by the stalkers down there. So. Yep. Of course, this is pretty annoying there. I mean, he knows that there's always this kind of threat where he just moves his observer over to, um, uh, to over to the edge and then tries to blink in. But uh, does Primal try to do it again? I think he does. It's actually a little bit risky and not really all that much worth it since he only has four stalkers over there. But yeah, if he well, sees that are no stalkers in position, then he's just going to try whatever he can, do as much damage as he can. Yeah. And he's doing that now. Ooh, but going for the pylon, that's not really worth it. And now he's on cooldown, but he's still getting all of his stalkers out. No, hasn't lost anything, hasn't done anything. Not really all too shabby. Okay, and now he's moving out with another Oracle. This way, the other way around. <laughs> this time, the other way around. <laughs> Trying to get into um, CPU's main base here. Uh, Prime Lord's main base here, sorry. Yep, uh, we had a stalker in here, but I don't think that did all that much damage. And the yeah. robotics is done. But Primal is actually, is actually pretty prepared for that Oracle. He has two st uh, Stalkers standing in the middle line of his main base. No uh, units standing in the middle line of his natural base, but there's the Mothership Core. Um, yeah, and it's got quite a bit of energy, so I think he's going to be fine either way. So one probe, Let's two probes, three probes, four. Are in there. Okay. And he yeah. might have been able to see that warp prism moving over across the map. So CPU in the meantime trying to get uh, the thermal lens for his colossi. Yeah, first colossi is almost out. Uh, first colossi is almost out, and he has the plus one ready. But Primord already uh, working on his plus two and the storm. So he's actually a little bit ahead of him as far as the tech is concerned. And let's see if CPU scouts this out because I don't think he's seen any of the army composition that's standing in the natural. Oh, storm drops incoming here. There's the um, uh, there's the um, warp prism already moving over oh, to the nice timing uh, with the with the hallucinated um, oracle right there. He did see a couple of those gateways morphing in, so he knows okay, there's a big push coming in. Oh, storm drops are in position. Did, did these Templars even have enough energy for a storm? I don't no, know. No, I don't think they did. Yeah, so that was a little bit of waste of that. A little bit fail here. He tried to storm drop, but it actually didn't really work out. And now again, and now they have enough. Oh, and this time he doesn't move out the probes. Losing quite a bunch of them. Oh, he's gonna lose the observer. This is actually vital, but there's not enough stalkers in position. Wow! And about four hit points on an observer. Wow, that's nuts. And CPU, oh, losing a single stalker there, but he still has the overcharge up on this natural. Let's see how these guys are doing. Maybe we'll see a storm drop incoming all too soon. Mm -hmm. So, third race for Crown Lab right now. That's a little bit ballsy. I mean, he's seen the uh, he's seen the Colossi, and he doesn't have an answer yet. He's just starting on his Immortal and Archon production. And I think if CPU actually moves out with the plus two um, Z at leg speed and the second or third Colossi, uh, rather, um, this could be a pretty scary push for the Prime Lot right now. I actually like how CPU is using uh, fake oracles instead of fake phoenixes because they look so much more scary when they <laughs> when they are moving around the map. Yeah, and he actually lured out half of the army right there. Yeah, uh, because they just thought it was a real oracle, and then he saw with the help of his observer that it wasn't. Yeah, pretty nice. I actually have to I actually have to remember that for my next Protoss game. <laughs> Once I play Protoss again. 
Right now we have three immortals and one Archon in Prime Lord's army and only four Ooh, stalkers. These two zealots are facing a grim fate there. They have just been warped in to die. No, to run away. And maybe they actually die. Make it. And maybe die another day. That's so another Stormlord coming we in. We have the first probe moving out. Um, oh, Stormlord Prime not really killing anything in uh, the natural base of CPU there. Just, I think, one probe, one more probe. But still, he's killed 18 workers so far. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. not and now bad the army is moving out. CPU has had enough. He's uh, actually facing off against 141 supply protos. And um, the third base is now up for Prime Lord. He already has a few probes working away at it and getting an also vital um, fifth gas there. Uh, wait, fifth? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> how many how many models does his opponent have? Um, he has two right now, okay. but three Colossi. And now we're going to see the switch over uh, two Archons on CPU's side as well. Getting well, a few of those ready. I, I also, a couple more morphing in for Prime Lot. Mm. Uh, all of them are setting up their, their pylons. There's a pylon for CPU standing here on the high ground. It's getting detected and taken out immediately. Oh, I don't like this engagement a lot. Oh, he was very lucky there. It's a oh, an amazing time warp coming out of uh, CPU. Uh, he actually gets one of the Archons. And getting those Archons is pretty vital right now. Yeah, um, he has, but he also needs to focus out the other Immortals, because yeah. he has the Colossi advantage right there. A CPU has to be careful not to be lured into this funnel back here, but he doesn't. So he tries to pull back a little bit, but of course he's giving his opponent more time to get more production there. Only two Colossi for Prime Lord, but still he has the he has a lot of Immortals and uh, a lot of um, a lot of Archons there. Well, so does so does CPU. Their their armies look kind of kind of the same strength here. Maybe a little bit better for Prime Lord since he has a little bit more. Of, um, um, of supply. Yeah, he has, but he has a lot of zealots, which don't really matter all that much. Um, but he made uh, he made up for it by getting a couple more Archons ready. He has the third Colossus now as well. Ooh, taking Ooh, out the Mothership for my B! No, it gets away. Uh, really clutch timing on that time warp. Okay, and now nice they're movement. just dancing around each other. I don't like this position one bit for CPU. He's going to lose his Mothership core right there. So yeah. nor, no recall possible. And a good time warp on Prime Lord's side. He's just marching in. And the Zealots are closing in. Might actually get a couple kills here. The Martyrs are in the back. So they're going to be fine. But the Colossi, they're taking a lot of fire right there. Colossi versus Colossi. And CPU's army just melts away. This is going to be 2-0 for Prime Lord. Yeah, he was trying, CPU was trying to warp in some zealots from behind, attacking the um, attacking the Colossi that was standing in the back, but he didn't really make that much damage as uh, much as he wanted. Yeah, he was pretty clumped up at that position where he was standing, uh, so he took extra damage from all the units um, offering splash damage. Yeah, yeah that, that he, was... just, he just got, he moved into uh, one of those really tight spots without having his uh, Mothership Core ready. And if you don't have that Mothership Core ready to um, recall, uh, if you do have the energy for that, of course, um, then that's just the worst position to get in. Because yeah. uh, he didn't have any way to reinforce his army, and he was, well, barely even in army supply. Not even, yeah. um, not even by uh, that big of a margin, but yeah. 